Welcome to Spiritual Awakening Radio. My name is James Bean of SpiritualAwakeningRadio.com. This program is heard at all of the podcast sites, venues, apps, websites, YouTube, and of course, YouTube Music. Actually, this program was one of the first podcasts to appear at YouTube Music, which is now YouTube Music and Podcasts, I guess, because... The word podcast is usually in the file name of my MP4. For whatever reason, I was one of the first to appear at YouTube Music when they started adding podcasts. Great to be there. Great to be everywhere. Today's program is titled Salvation of the Soul, Liberation of Humanity. This is a great definition of this path of the Masters known as Radhaswami, also known as Sant Mat, the teachings of the saints. This is from Guru Arjan Dev, from his book of Sukhmani, which is part of the Guru Granth, the Sikh scriptures. A great definition of this path of the masters, the way of the saints. That which you came into this life to obtain is the name of the Lord, which can be found in the house of the saints. Trade in your ego, trade in your ego, and gain back your soul, and in the scales of the heart weigh only the name, carrying only the name, begin the journey in the caravan of saints shedding all else that is false and would bind you. Then all will bless you and your face will be radiant in the home of God. Few are they who trade in this commodity. Nanak is ever a sacrifice unto them. Guru Arjan Dev, Book of Sukhmani in the Sri Guru Granth Sahib, known as the Adi Granth or Gurbani, the Sikh scriptures of India. A couple of fair use short quotes from the verses of Darshan Singh from a new book, a recent book of mystic poetry called Abode of Light, Manzel Inur, a very fine book of mystic poetry. A couple of verses here actually This one is 84. The world is deeply unhappy with continual strife. Each breath is burdened with the sorrow of life. Remove the clouds of injustice from the world. May the breeze of peace blow in the garden with your grace. With the light of love, transform the earth into the Milky Way. And through your glance of unity, enlighten the world. A great prayer. As is this, your grace has revealed the truth. Beholding you has illumined our vision and following your signposts, the path to salvation was found. By finding you, I found God. You are the light of God and treasure of life. In this colorful, ever-changing world, you are a treasure trove of virtues. That's verse 18 from the mystic poetry of Darshan Singh. A boat of light, Manzel Inur, dedicated to celebrating or commemorating the life of Guru Nanak. And there are some great comments in there about the Sikh scriptures as well. A fair use quote from a couple of verses of mystic poetry from Darshan Singh. This is excerpted from Know Thyself. All India Convention of Santmat Satsang held in Rishikesh, translated by Pravesh K. Singh, 
featuring the words of Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. So let us earn and collect that wealth which will accompany us even after we leave this world. Which wealth is that? That is the wealth of devotion, of meditation. Our Guru Dev has been so kind and compassionate to teach us the art, the way to that end which can be practiced by monks and householders alike. There is no discrimination of any kind here, so live in mutual harmony and practice meditation. Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj the following is from a book called The Biography of Swamiji Maharaj. Ever since Hazur Maharaj, also known as Rai Salagram, came to the holy feet of Swamiji Maharaj, his heart was all the time overflowing with the burning desire for the spread of the Radhaswami faith so that he could enjoy its bliss and behold the speedy salvation of humanity. When Swamiji Maharaj heard this, he kept mum. But Hazur Maharaj went on praying on and off that either the Radhaswami faith may flourish far and wide or this desire be removed from his heart. He added that he would abide by Swamiji Maharaj's maj or will in response to Huzur Maharaja's prayer, Swamiji was pleased to observe on a certain occasion that the Radhaswami faith would flourish far and wide, and the bliss of Shabd, the sound current, would also be experienced. He was pleased to compose the following hymn, giving an expression to Huzur Maharaja's prayer. This is from the Sarbachan being quoted here now, the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry of Seth Shivdayal Singh, Sant Radhaswami Sahib, also known as Swamiji Maharaj of Agra. I pray to Satguru humbly to reveal Sant Mat openly. I wish that the whole humanity be redeemed and I may witness this glory then I may enjoy great bliss, and all may perform thy arti, or worship. That's from the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry. This is from Sawan Singh, speaking to the message of the masters for souls of humanity. Zur Baba Sawan Singh. Their message is, Soul, you have forgotten your source. That source is Sach Khand, and the sound current within you is the way to it, and we guide you to that. That's from Hazur Baba Sawan Singh. Back to Swami Ji Maharaj. This is from the last words of Swamiji Maharaj. Addressing Lala Seth Pratap Singh, Swamiji Maharaj observed, the faith I had given out was that of Satnam and Anami. The Radhaswami faith has been introduced by Salagram, Hazur Maharaj. You should let it also continue. Satsang must go on. Satsang shall spread far and wide in future. This is from the Dial Bog SpearCon 2010 document and part also of the Marar Declaration, forming a basis for fellowship amongst the various Sangits of Sant Mat, some mutual collaboration amongst the various Satsang lineages. We are all pilgrims treading the same path and desirous of reaching the same destination ultimately. 
Satsang movement has been started to spread the true religion and peace and tranquility in the world and to draw people towards the holy feet of Huzur Radhaswami Dayal, the merciful Lord of the soul. This object can be better served by maintaining mutual affection and brotherly relations among different centers of the Radhaswami faith and working in cooperation to attain the common goal and now he, this is quoting this document whoever is speaking here is quoting from Hazur Maharaj from his spiritual classic Prem Patra Radhaswami the common goal quote as the object of worship of everyone is the same i.e. merciful Radhaswami and the original home of everyone is the same i.e. the abode of Radhaswami and the real teachers of everyone are the same Bani and discourses of merciful Radhaswami obviously then all should have brotherly affection heartfelt love and affection for each other Zur Maharaj Rai Salagram Bahadur from Prem Patra Radhaswami a great six volume set of spiritual discourses that I've been reading for decades a similar message of peace and harmony and collaboration a message of love and unity from Tija Baba Baba Tija Singh of the Dera Baba Sawan Singh Sadpur quoted in the book the Radhaswami tradition Now all the satsangis must live in love. You must live lovingly along with the satsangis of Tarntarn, Delhi and Bayas. Again I instruct you to have love for all the satsangis. The people may say anything as they like, do not bother about them, but you must live with them lovingly. Do bhajan simran regularly. Pay my love to all the satsangis and Radhaswami to all defining a few terms here bhajan simran defined bhajan devotional practice of listening to the inner sound current inner sound meditation audible life stream nada yoga shabd yoga simran the repetition of names or thoughts in sant math the simran of worldly thoughts is controlled through the simran of the five charged names repeated by an initiate throughout the day and when sitting for meditation as a means of collecting the thought currents at the third eye center also used as a password of sorts to higher planes and protection from negative power influences from the satsang of mastana ji as children come home from school and study obey the teacher and get graduation and post graduation if you want to take a course to meet the sat guru then you have to come into the company of saints if you follow the orders of the saints and do bhajan simran then the saints will get this course done baba ram singh Santji used to often say do your simran and if you do your simran and keep doing your simran then you will automatically reach your destination it is the simran that will take you to your destination says Santji just as it is important for us to eat food for the body it is equally important for us to do our bhajan simran that is the food for our soul the bhajan simran that we do is like food for the soul and the satsangs we listen to that is like giving water so the bhajan simran and satsang these are like food and water to the soul and with those the soul becomes stronger and is able to gain prowess over the mind so we should have mercy on our soul the soul after having come into this world is under the influence of the mind and the mind has put it through a lot of torture so we have to have mercy on the soul and therefore 
we have to do our bhajan simran. So we have to always remember our purpose and do our bhajan simran. Even if we have a lot of work or we are completely tied up in that, we should not forget our bhajan simran. And just like we do our regular activities, we should also spend time for bhajan simran. From a satsang discourse of Baba Ram Singh. The following is from The Light of Ajayb, also known as Sant Ji. A book of questions, a, a 1,000, actually over 1,000 page book of Q&A about the spiritual path. Question, masters say that we have to leave the body sometime. Now many people in the West do not understand that we can learn to leave the body now. It is not just a fairy tale or fantasy or imagination. It's a fact. It was interesting to me to meet Babuji, who is 65 or 70 years old, and his father is 105, and has only been meditating for eight years. Yet they have begun at this advanced age and are putting in time regularly. So people in the West, I think, could do this also. Santji, to leave the body is not a story or fairy tale. You can do it practically, and it is a practical fact. And they can also do it if they wish to do it. In Santmat, leaving the body means that you can leave the body whenever you like by closing your eyes and doing Simran. And afterwards, you can again enter the body. To most people, to leave the body means you have to die, but in Sant Mat it means that you can leave the body as many times as you want, and you can enter the body again. From the teachings of Sant G, The Light of Ajeb, an amazing book. It's online. Send me an email. I can send a link to you. Uh, it's a very wonderful book of Q&A about meditation practice and living a spiritual life following the path. From the bhajans or hymns, the mystic poetry of Baba Somanath. Make me repeat the Nam day and night and keep me steadfastly absorbed in contemplation on you. Rivet my attention at the still point between the eyes and show me the light of spiritual knowledge. Ferrying me across the physical, astral, and causal realms lead me into the region of Parbrahm. In the spiritual pool or lake of Mansarovar, in the region of the void, let me bathe in those purifying waters so that I may become immaculate and whole. Giving me the support of the dun, the, the true sound, the true Shabbat, transport my soul into the great void, drawing me upwards on the stream of Sohang Shabir, reveal the vision of the true realm, Satlok, where divine strains of the Veena fill the air. Transport me to Alak and Agam, the invisible and inaccessible regions. Whoever reaches there has come to the end of the journey regarding me as your helpless child, merge me into the primal Anami Lok, says Baba Somanath. That's from a collection of hymns of Baba Somanath online at the Baba Somanath website. Wrapping up today's Sant Mat Satsang podcast edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio, A reading from Sant Niloba, a rare saint of Maharashtra. Turning some pages here to get to this beautiful mystic poem called Peace Sets In. By the way, you can email me at this address, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com. Sant Niloba. I don't believe I've shared much from Sant Niloba in the past. But countless are the lovers of the beloved. So many poet saints and mystics and Sufis of the ages. 
In the company of mystics, wrongdoings wash away. The fever of passions is left behind, and the mind collects in concentration. Attached to a mystic, we detach from all else. When the heart lives for meditation, peace sets in, a tranquility. Being with mystics leads to devotion to God, to knowing God, happiness in this world and liberation from it. Both are found in their company, and all this they give freely. The greatest of all good fortune comes with their company. Those who serve the mystics are reunited with the Lord," says Saint Niloba. Thank you for joining me for today's edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio. Jai Guru, Satnam, Radhaswami.